Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Acti Staten, Adina Springs, Ashford Stud, Bloodstock Research, Castleton Lions, Claiborne Farm, Crestwood Farm, Darby Dan Farm, Gainesway, Horse Sense, Judmont Farm, Keeneland, Lane's End, Malone's, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Pin Oak Stud, Quillen Leather and Tack, Ramard, Sally Horse Fans, Shadwell Farm, Three Chimneys Farm, and Windstar Farm. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week featuring Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks prep races from Gulfstream Park and Fairgrounds and a Dubai World Cup victory by a former Kentucky Derby winner. We begin with fillies and mares at Gulfstream Park in the Grade 3 Rampart Stakes. Chow Bella, the 2-5 favorite, Larry Comas picks up the call. Chow Bella has run three quarters in 113 flat and they're into the stretch and Chow Bella turns for home under a hand ride. Clear from Authenticity whose second successful song has dropped back to third and now John Velasquez lets Chow Bella loose and she responds and pulls away from her stablemate Authenticity and Chow Bella scores in the rampart. Chow Bella by Ashford Stud Stag and Giants Causeway the front running winner by four and a half lengths over Stablemate Authenticity. The first of four stakes victories on the card for John Velasquez. Time of the race, 150 flat. Runner up in turf stakes at Keeneland and Calder last fall, Chow Bella records her first stakes victory. One of six stakes winners last Saturday for trainer Todd Pletcher, Chow Bella is three for three over the main track at Gulfstream Park. The four-year-old filly was bred in Kentucky by Chelston. Chow Bella has earned nearly $237,000 for Michael Tabor. Chow Bella paid $280 to win and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. To fairgrounds for the Grade 2 New Orleans handicap, Gradar, the 6-5 to five favorite, John Dooley has the call. Three for longs from home, Majestic Harbor, Mark Valeski, Gradar right there too at the point of attack. Now Gradar and Mark Valeski, the first two to commit for home. Majestic Harbor under pressure. Macho Macho. Bourbon Courage four from the front. A couple of furlongs to go. Flat out has been angled out. Cool Street on the far outside. Dreaming Blue is last. They're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in. One eleven and four. It's Gradar. Mark Valeski. Mark Valeski just in front. Gradar is battling tooth and nail with Mark Valeski. Closing Macho Macho with Bourbon Courage. They brush. It's Gradar. Gradar and Mark Valeski. Gradar and Ed Edgar Prado, Gradar, Gradar, the New Orleans Handicap Champion. Gradar runs down Mark Valeski to score by a length and three quarters for a 1-2 finish by Keeneland Sells graduates. Edgar Prado up in 149 flat. Another graded six footer for Todd Pletcher, Gradar shipped to fairgrounds after taking the grade one Don Handicap at Gulfstream Park. The four-year-old colt by Unbridled Song was bred in Kentucky by W.S. Farish. A $260,000 two-year-old, Gradar has earned $601,000 for Twin Creeks Racing Stables. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with turf racing in this segment. We begin with fillies and mares at Gulfstream Park in the Grade 3 Orchid Stakes. European import Egg Marine, the 6-5 to five favorite, Larry Comas picks up the call. Closing range joined by Game Fair on the lead. Outside of them, Irish Mission is right there running in third position. Shanakee is fourth along the rail. Starformer is fifth. Egg Marine is just to the outside of Starformer and sent along three wide around the far turn. It's a long shot in front. Game Fair is the leader. Irish Mission is right alongside. Closing range is given way. Shanakee is next. Egg Marine's got to come five wide. Also gaining ground is Starformer who splits horses. Regalo Mia swings up on the far outside they're into the stretch game fair irish mission here comes regalo mia down the center of the course and luis contreras and regalo mia strike the front and regalo mia pulls away in the orchid regalo mia by adina springs canada stag in sligo bay gets up to win by two lengths over Angel green luis contreras aboard in 223 and 2 a 112 wrist speed rating Regalo Mia is three for four over the Gulfstream course, including the Sunshine Millions Philly and Bear Turf in her seasonal debut. The four-year-old filly was bred in Florida by Juvenal Diaz. Trained by Michelle Nihe, Regalo Mia has earned nearly $328,000 for Stephen Ciccaroni. 
to fairgrounds for the grade two Mervyn H. Munich Jr. handicap. Amira's Prince, the six to five favorite, John Dooley has the call. Half mile and 50 and four fifths seconds as they go to the far side of the fairgrounds course. It's Amira's Prince being taken on now by Louisiana bred String King. Here's String King's challenge to Amira's Prince as they quicken up. Wilcoxon just slides off the rail. Doubles partner cuts the corner, so too did Optimizer. Tis a Johnic Joe fanned on the far outside. Quality control trying to get into it too. They're in the final furlong and a half. Amira's Prince kept on. String King fully extended now. On the outside, here comes Wilcoxon. Toward the inside is Doubles partner. It's Amira's Prince and Wilcoxon. Wilcoxon, Amira's Prince. Amira's Prince streaks to four in a row. Amira's Prince continues his winning streak by half a length over Wilcox in. Junior Alvarado aboard in 149 and 3. After winning only once in seven tries in Europe, Amira's Prince is undefeated in four U.S. starts for trainer Bill Mott. The Irish bred four year old Colt by Teofilo won his last three at Gulfstream Park, including the Grade 2 McDermott Stakes. Imported by Wachtell Stable, Eclipse Thoroughbred Parkers, and Gary Barber, Amira's Prince has earned nearly $430,000. Lanes and Sells graduates take the spotlight this week with Revolutionary winning the Grade 2 Louisiana Derby, Grade 1 winner Graydar taking the Grade 2 New Orleans Handicap, and Grade 1 winner Liaison victorious in the Santana Mile. Lanes End is the leading consigner of 2013 graded winners. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with Kentucky Derby prep races coming up in this segment. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. We begin with Kentucky Oaks contenders and the Grade 2 Gulfstream Oaks. Dreaming of Julia, the 8-5 to five favorite, Larry Comas has the call. Around the far turn, Dreaming of Julia moving now. Right to the outside, takes the lead. Dreaming of Julia has breezed by. Live lively on the far turn, and she's just doing it with ease. Her ears are pricked. John Velasquez not even moving. Dreaming of Julia pulling away at the top of the stretch. She has left Live Lively and the others behind. Three quarters, 111 flat. And Dreaming of Julia's running a powerhouse race here. Oh, she's 12 in front. She's 15 lengths in front. She's going to win by 20. Dreaming of Julia devastates the Gulfstream Oaks. Dreaming of Julia trounces Live Lively by 21 and 3 quarter lengths while under a hand ride by John Velasquez. Time of the race, 148 and 4. Sweet revenge for Dreaming of Julia, who opened the season with a runner-up finish to Live Lively and the Grade 2 Devona Dale Stakes. The regally bred filly by AP Indy, out of multiple Grade 1 winner Dream Rush, was bred in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings. Another graded stakes winner for Todd Pletcher, Dreaming of Julia has earned $767,000 for Stone Street Stables. Next, the Grade 2 Fairgrounds Oaks. A limited budget, the 4-5 to five favorite, John Dooley picks up the call. The half mile for so many ways. 46 and 4 fifths seconds, they have three furlongs to go. So many ways, leads by three quarters of a length. Flashy gray, on limited budget, right there on the outside. Closing in now on so many ways as they come toward the quarter pole. Shanine Girl on the far outside, Blue Violet, Anti up Annie cut the corner, promise me more, even taking closer order, they're into the stretch where Unlimited Budget battles Flashy Gray. They're in the final 3 sixteenths. Unlimited Budget has the edge. It's a short lead though from Flashy Gray, final furlong. Shanine Girl is third and is staying on two. They're close to the finish. It's Unlimited Budget, Flashy Gray, Unlimited Budget, she's undefeated, and the Fairgrounds Oaks champion. Unlimited budget scores by a length and three quarters over Flashy Gray. Javier Castellano aboard in 143 and 1. Another top Kentucky Oaks prospect for Todd Pletcher. Unlimited budget is perfect in four starts with three stakes wins on her resume. The Philly by Street Sense was bred in Florida by Ocala Stud and was a $475,000 OBS March two year old. Unlimited budget has earned $610,000 for Rapoli Stable. American Produce Records is now available online. Visit brisnet.com slash APR for unlimited access to the pedigrees of more than 3 million thoroughbreds for just $275 a year. 
We begin our review of Kentucky Derby prospects with the Grade 2 UAE Derby. Godolphin's undefeated secret number favored. Terry Spargo has the call. Passing the 800 meters mark with 800 left behind in 52.9, Snowboarder has gone to the front by three parts of a length over law enforcement. Lines of battle, a half length away running third, followed by Sharuk, El Labelle on the rail. Two lengths to now spun, then he's had enough. Followed by a motive, Zahi. Secret numbers a mile back. He had to go back to come to the outside. He's giving them eight lengths in the straight. Lines of battle went up the snow border. Hit the front. 300 metres left to run. El Labelle into the clear. They got away from law enforcement. Lines of battle in front. El Labelle back to the inside is giving chase. Lines of battles drifted to the centre of the track. El Labelle's trying to reel him in, but lines of battle in front. He's found more. He's forging clear and lines Lines of Battle wins the derby. Lines of Battle by Claiborne Farm Stag in Warfront punches his ticket to the Kentucky Derby with his length and a half victory over Elaval. Ryan Moore, the winning jockey in 202 flat. A stakes winner and group stakes placed in Ireland at two. Lines of Battle had been off since finishing seventh in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. Trader Aidan O'Brien also won this race last year with Daddy Longlegs, who went on to finish last in the Kentucky Derby. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Joseph Allen, who owns the Colt along with Susan Magner, Michael Tabor, and Derek Smith. Lines of Battle has earned $1,276,000. Back to fairgrounds for the Grade 2 Louisiana Derby. Revolutionary, the 2-1 to -one favorite. Once again, here's John Dooley. Out in front, still this head-to-head -head battle between Title Town 5 and Hip 469. They have four furlongs to go. Code West with a nice tracking trip from third, and Palace Malice now gains ground toward the inside from fourth as they enter the turn. Just over three furlongs to go. On the outside is Ground Transport fifth, but now gaining ground, and Revolutionary, the Withers winner. Here he comes, moving up the ranks. Revolutionary and the Windstar White picking up rivals on the far outside. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. This wide sweeping move by Revolutionary, right with Ground Transport. Hip 469 is dropped back. Palace Malice right there, too, along with Code West. Palace Malice gets shuffled. Sunbeam is blocked at the rail. Sunbeam checks hard with nowhere to go. A furlong to go. It's Revolutionary. Here comes My Loot charging on the outside. My Loot and Revolutionary. Then departing ground transport. Foot outside is Gold Soul. They're close to the finish. Revolutionary and My Loot and a climactic finish, too. Revolutionary! Well back in the early going, Revolutionary rallies to defeat Longshot Mylude by a neck. Javier Castellano aboard in 150 and 1. A Fairgrounds Oaks Louisiana Derby double for Castellano and trainer Todd Fletcher. Revolutionary has put together a three race winning streak, including a determined victory in the Grade 3 Wither Stakes. The Colt by War Pass was bred in Kentucky by W.S. Farish and was an $80,000 Keeneland September yearling from the Lanes End Consignment. A $235,000 OBS March two-year-old, Revolutionary, has earned $788,000 for Windstar Farm. To Gulfstream Park for the Grade 1 Florida Derby. It's my lucky day, the 8-5 to five favorite. Once again, here's Larry Colmus. 48 and 2 fifth seconds for a half mile. It's been a very sensible pace for Merritt Man, and Narvaez is right alongside. Two long shots out on the lead, but it's my lucky day, and Orber right in contention. Shanghai Bobby is on the rail in fifth. We'll need a way through if he's good enough. And then it's Pick of the Litter ridden along for more, and are you kidding me on the outside? And now it's my lucky day has taken the lead. Merritt Man is not done yet. He continues to run on second. Orb is put to the whip by John Velasquez in third. Narvaez is fourth. They're into the stretch. It's my lucky day. And Elvis Trujillo have a furlong to run. And Orb comes up to him. It's my lucky day. And Orb, and Orb has run by. And Orb and John Velasquez have won the Bessie Lou Stables Florida Derby. Orb by Spendthrift Farmstag and Malibu Moon rallies to defeat It's My Lucky Day by two and three quarter lengths. John Velasquez aboard in 150 and 4. Orb goes 3 for 3 during the Gulfstream meeting, including the Grade 2 Fountain of Youth Stakes. The first winner of the Florida Derby for trainer Shug McGahey, Orb is favored to give the Lexington native his first Kentucky Derby success. The Colt was bred in Kentucky by his owners, Stuart S. Jenny III and Fifth Stable. Orb has earned $921,000. 
John Velasquez with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the winter circle. Thoroughbred Week is presented by Ramard's total line of equine products featuring total gut health for total gastrointestinal health of the stomach and hind gut. For further information, please log on to RamardInc.com. Time now for the feature race of the week presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. It's the 18th edition of the $10 million Dubai World Cup. An international field of 12 went postward, including U.S. runners, Animal Kingdom, Dullahan, and champion mare Royal Delta. Here's the call by Terry Spargo. Gates fly, they're racing in the Dubai World Cup, and Plan 2 was slow to move. Capone and Red Cadeau not showing a great deal of pace after the start. Royal Delta is and went to the lead with Hunter's Light second. Side glance third. Treasure Beach fourth and an African story. Animal Kingdom out wide. Dullahan closer to the fence going forward on the inside of Meandre. Red Cadeau's on the rail. A length and a half to plant Turk. Capone is second last. And Casiano had immediately dropped out to the tail of the field as Royal Delta takes them to the back of the track past the 1500 metres mark. First quarter, a leisurely 26.5. Royal Delta leading by three parts of a length. Animal Kingdom went up to be second. A length and a half away was Hunter's Light third on the inside of Side Glance. Another two lengths, Meandre, on the outside of Treasure Beach. A length to Dullahan, a head to Red Cadeau on the rail. A length to Planteur, a length to African Story. Capone second last and Casiano. A length and a half back is the best part of 13 lengths from the lead as they cast the 1,000 metres mark astern with 800 run in 50 flat. Royal Delta taking them to the back bend and the 800 metres mark with a break of a neat length over Animal Kingdom. A length and a half away, Hunter's Light on the fence on the inside of Side Glance. Two lengths, Meandre being ridden along, then Treasure Beach. Dullahan's out three deep, plant two in the middle. Red Cadeau on the rail, then Casiano, followed by African Story and Capone had dropped out to be last with 4.50 to run. Coming around the turn, Royal Delta surrendered to Animal Kingdom, who darted a length and a half in front. Offside glance, Hunter's Light into the clear. Planter on the outside in an African story. The Derby winner. Animal Kingdom in front with 200 metres left to go. Red Cadeau on the inside starting to flash home. Will he have time? Animal Kingdom leads. Animal Kingdom three lengths in front of Red Cadeau. And Animal Kingdom wins the Dubai World Cup in a US-Australia combination. Animal Kingdom holds off the late charge of Red Cadeau by two lengths. Joel Rosario aboard the Keeneland Sales Graduate in 2.03 and 1. Animal Kingdom joined Silver Charm as the only runners to complete the Kentucky Derby Dubai World Cup double. The Graham Motion trainee missed most of last season with a slab fracture, but he returned from an eight and a half month layoff to finish a closing second to eventual Horse of the Year Wise Dan in the Breeders' Cup Mile. In his final U.S. prep, he was run down by point of entry in the Grade 1 Gulfstream Park Turf Handicap. The five-year-old horse by Lawada Senimo was bred in Kentucky by Team Valor, which sold controlling interest in the winner to Arrowfield Stud for future stallion duty in Australia. Animal Kingdom has a bankroll of $8,387,000. The colt was consigned by Denali Stud, Craig and Holly Banderoff agent, to the 2009 Keenan September Yearling Sale, where he was purchased by Team Valor International for $100,000. The Buy World Cup winner, Animal Kingdom, the Keeneland Souls Graduate of the Week. We'll see you next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week is produced by John Henderson in association with Scott Ryan, Lexington, Kentucky.